Again, so All right, so there's your pretty face. Thank you very much. And um, <laughs> so, yeah, we were just talking um, about changes in, in the region and how you feel like uh, uh, impacting on uh, Palestine and the struggle for free Palestine. Well, I think it's, it's, it's rather difficult at this stage to predict what's going to be like for the Palestinians. Um, I think for the Arab revolutions, um, nothing is really materialized because since the you know the uprising in Tunisia until now with all the changes and the removal of dictators and things like that the situation in the Arab countries is quite uh, um, um, not certain not stable volatile sorry volatile it's quite volatile thank you because uh, in Asia for instance uh, it hasn't been it hasn't been on a, in a stable course so far. There are a lot of mayhem, a lot of political divisions and uh, fighting amongst the Muslim Brotherhood and uh, Morsi, the, pres uh, the Egyptian president, and those people who are in the opposition. So they're pretty much concerned about their own domestic issues at this day. This is the, and the same also applies to Tunisia. And the same also applies to Libya and all the and the Yemen and everywhere. And let alone what's going on in Syria, which nobody can predict really what's going to happen. So it's really hard, I think, to predict what is going to affect the Palestinians, in what ways it's going to affect the Palestinians. Everybody was happy that, you know, with the change of the Mubarak regime, you know, and the coming of the Muslim Brotherhood, or a party that is supported by a Muslim brother, that there will be some changes mm -hmm. as far as Egyptian-Palestinian or Gaza relationships are concerned. But, you know, by and large, not a lot of these expectations are not really um, uh, valid, you know. Uh, hopes for, you know, a total opening of the Rafah border crossing, um, an alleviation of the suffering of the Palestinian Gazans, you know, being able to move in and out of Gaza. Uh, there were some um, ease of under the restriction of movement, but it is it is below what people expect. And the same also with commodities and goods, and you know, the free access between Gaza. And, and also on a political level, the Egyptian administration at, at this time is not fully behind in its policies and its outlook to the situation. It's not fully behind the Palestinian, the Palestinians in Gaza. It doesn't support them fully, uh, um, I guess, the, the Gaza government, the Hamas government here in Gaza. So what we hear is a lot of, I think, lip service mm -hmm. and indications that we are with you, but on the ground, nothing really um, happens, you know, except some gestures, you know, that we are helping you, supporting you, but you know, it's very difficult. I, I, I can kind of understand what, why the Egyptians are doing this because, you know, they are in the middle of the way and the, school, the, the conditions, the political conditions, the economic conditions in Egypt are not stable yet and they're not ready to, let's say, have a fight with the Israelis or the Americans or the Europeans over the Palestinians. Which it could provoke. Yeah. Which could provoke some form of, you know, economic sanctions or um, to the Egyptians or some, mm -hmm. you know, th this could create problems for the Egyptians if they really fully embrace the Palestinians yeah, in yeah. Gaza and say, we are with you 100%. So uh, this is very, um, uh, we have to wait actually to see how the situation is going to unfold in the Arab region, you know, because all the changes in the Arab, in the Arab world will happen to a number of countries. Yes, they are important countries, especially Egypt. But, you know, without seeing the whole picture now, you know, it, it's difficult to see the whole picture now. Um, especially now looking at Syria, for example, you know, nobody is going, nobody knows what's going to turn out to be. It's very disastrous over there. And Palestinians, refugees in, in Syria are really, are caught in the middle, you know. And some people are pushing for the Palestinians to be directly involved in the fighting between the oppositions and Bashar regime. Um, so it's, it's uh, we have to wait and see. We cannot just be very optimistic or pessimistic about the situation. I think this is the political nature of the region. Nothing is going to, nothing is stable at this stage. Mm. And, and vision is really hazy at this stage. Mm. Yeah. Um, looking outside, uh, building up support uh, for the Palestinian cause, 
how do you see the best way, the most effective way that internationals can express that effective support at this stage? I think the, um, having lived in Australia myself, and I can speak from experience, I think an important thing is to, um, uh, to reach out to their communities to speak out, to hold meetings, to talk to the people, to the everyday, ordinary people on the streets, you know, to really build this grassroots, you know, um, movement in their respective countries, and trying to raise awareness about the suffering of the Palestinians, trying to raise awareness about what the Israelis, what Israel has been doing to the Palestinians, and to the region, by the way. Um, um, building effective partnerships with the Palestinians so that the Palestinians can reach out you know, to these communities all over the world to say, this is what we've been going through, help us. You know, we, are, we are not as what they've been portraying us in the media and what, that these serious sort of stereotypes uh, about the Palestinians, about the Arabs and about you know, this Islamic region. So um, raising awareness amongst their communities um, and also reaching out to the Palestinians so that everybody can, you know, listen to each other and understand, you know, their points of views and, and their, their own, you know, uh, lives, their lives and, you know, their hopes, aspirations and what they want to do for their lives. You know? um, I think this is very important. Um, Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thanks much appreciated. Thanks a lot. Thank you. We'll have to have a photo of opportunity. <laughs>